So gents, just listen in, I'll explain the drill, really simple. So it's a, a modified M run. We've got some change of direction in and around the middle. So we're gonna have a group start on this cone here, or pole here, group start in the far side. All you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to this pole in here, tight weave, out to the far cone, out across, back in, tight weave and down. First day was really good, boys put in a shift, so we had staggered groups, three groups were in yesterday morning. Um, we had three groups of physical testing, kind of seeing where the baselines are, seeing what they look like off the back of pre-seat or the back of the off season. And then, morning, and then we, that was based in here with a medical team, physio team, and then the boys all went outside and we did four minute maximal run. Um, just to kind of see where they are aerobically, helps us group them for starting with today's running base session. Before we go out today, you've never been in a gym ever this time in the morning. I love it. Um, so we're just setting up for a pre-training session, which is on the TV. So based around the session demands that we're going to look at today, so some larger areas. So this is for the outfield players. GKs will have something slightly different, kind of more strength power based. And we're just, yeah, getting ready to go. And boys, are you looking to get out today's session? So today, a bit, bit of volume based conditioning. So in terms of our running, kind of set the base from a physical, physiological standpoint, hoping to kind of start to expose them to that longer distance stuff, which is really going to help us Competing in the championship, we know phys most physically demanding league in, in, in the world, really, but coupled with as much football as we possibly can get in there. Des is very kind of coaching style is that we'll try and get the physical and the tactical technical all at the same time. Early on in pre-season, there needs to be some, some volume, some, some running, but we really want to couple that with as much football as we possibly can do. So the balls were out in day one and they, and they will continue to do so all the way through pre-season. Early on in the season, I arrived in February and we didn't have a huge amount of time to work with the goalkeepers, considering we were playing two games a week kind of all the way through. So we've got morning, we've got a really good group of goalkeepers this year. So we're going to really try and accelerate their physical development starting today. So we met with them yesterday to kind of give them the rationale behind it. And then today's the first day with them. I can't believe there's no sun. Week one of pre-season, no sun. Med balls, med balls, med balls, med balls. For the keepers. Just on the goal, how, what is the work you're wanting to do with them that you shouldn't have done in, when, when you first arrived? So when we first arrived, or when I first arrived, it was very much, we were playing two, three games a week. So the time needed to be spent with Pricey out on the training pitches. So from a physical development perspective, we maybe didn't get as much time as we wanted. So what we're trying to do now is really bite size those chunks around physical development and trying to get them a regular stimulus every day. It may be only 20, 30 minutes, but we're trying to make those little differences to hopefully have an impact on the pitch. These guys are strength power athletes. So ultimately, if we can get them to move more explosively, you know, we might see another save like we saw Jamie come in. Peterborough away, so that's what we're trying to we're trying to do with them. Right, so and the data of what what is the data you're looking to capture from the players this week and how important is that? So yesterday we looked at uh, their kind of force generation capabilities. So looking at a counter movement jump and a, and a single leg counter movement jump. We're looking at basically how they express their force in terms of their peak power. And we want to see how they triple extend. So from their ankle, their knee and their hip, we know that that's going to translate into their ability or their capabilities to change direction explosively, sprint, jump, land. And then we're also looking at some hamstring strength capabilities using our force plate. We want to look at understanding that strength quality in and around the hamstring and then also looking at an asymmetry between left and right. 
Once we've got that data, it's going to help us kind of underpin their pre-training preparation sessions, their strength training sessions, and also highlight any risks for us. You know, we can't completely mitigate injury. We know that injuries happen, but we want to best prepare our athletes to hopefully avoid that as much as we can. And then obviously when we were outside, so we said we did that four minute run, that maximal aerobic or maximal test, seeing how far they could run for four minutes, saw some fantastic times out there yesterday. That's gonna help us prescribe some conditioning programs, but also kind of give us a basis of where they're at. As I said, in the gym, the championship physically demanding league, we wanna know that these guys can play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Thursday, whatever it might be this season. So kind of helping them kind of get that repeat and recover, being able to expose them regularly to high intensity work. And that's hopefully what we're gonna to get to in the next couple of weeks. Build up that volume conditioning around the running, but also increase their time playing football so that we're getting the best of both worlds. We're trying to build that conditioning into the football. As I was saying in the gym, Des likes to play a high, high intensity style of football. So can we get that as much as we can through football based drills? There'll be times where we need to supplement it with some additional running, but wherever possible, we want to try and get as much of that through football based drills. Today, obviously we're, we're doing a little bit more running, essentially some kind of more traditional running, but there's a lot of football in there as well. And the boys go to Spain on Saturday. Yes, they do. How does that training differ from what you're doing here and how important is warm weather training in general for getting ready for that championship season? So in terms of how it differs, it doesn't differ drastically in terms of what we'll be doing, it's just going to be a ramped up. Obviously, you know, we're day two. If we go too hard too early, it's going to be tough on them. But what we want to do is ramp it up on a gradual aspect. We know that the boys have been active over the off season. They've been, you know, they followed programs from us. So they've been really good. And if they've come from other clubs, we spoke with their performance staff and we've, you know, checked what they've been doing from their, at, their, at their end. But yeah, week by week, day by day, we're going to build it up. So in terms of what we are asking the guys to do, if we went, you know, all out day two, we could get burnt. So it's almost like looking of how we can build that up gradually to make sure that they build that physical capability, but in a, in a safe way, ultimately. So next week will be more of the same really, but the weather will be nicer, so that helps. We'll be, we'll be together all the time, so that will be a nice way to be in terms of working together as a group. Um, so, you know, as much as it is from a footballing and a physical perspective, it's also from a cultural perspective, getting to spend a good, good period of time together. It's going to work from here, I'm going to go into here, but as they get into there, yeah. there's going to be a weave. So okay. it's got, you've got the volume, that side, oh, yeah. and then you've got an Axel D-cell. So when I was chatting to, to a couple of lads last week, do you like Jordan Thornley? Jordan Thornley's like, I'll run all day. Yeah. As soon as, you, soon as you add an Axel D cell in, yeah, yeah, you're right. it gets me. So you're yeah. getting that like kind of metabolic load through the, okay. through the, through the limb. Well, but you haven't got enough space here, though, have you? If this is here. But that won't be here, will it? Because I can do my weaves second half. So all I need is a, co a pole here, yeah. a pole in the middle. Yeah. I won't go anywhere in, in here. That picture looks great. So it's actually grown a little bit in terms of the, the department, but in terms of the three guys here day to day, so it's myself, Dwayne and, and Shorty. Dwayne and Shorty, two absolutely fantastic guys. And I hopefully, you know, as a group, we bring different characters. Um, you know, Shorty was talking yesterday, I think it's his 34th pre-season over as a player or as a coach. And, you know, his, his kind of, way of working with athletes is just infectious like how can you not want to be around this guy like he's just a he's brilliant very very good at his his, his craft but just a, a really just top guy top practitioner and then so he did sure you'll do a lot of the pitch based warm-ups very very good at return to play kind of your your pitch based work and then Dwayne is very very competent at everything really but in terms of his super strength is ultimately around gym-based conditioning, fantastic. And then 
I try and add value where I can, working with these two. To I'm kind very, of... I'm very, have you said I'm very skilled at carrying water? <laughs> So I have two daughters and they both basically just think I'm a water boy. That's all they've ever seen me do. So, yeah, but hopefully what we're all we're trying to do is kind of underpin what the manager and the coaching staff want from a footballing perspective. We try to raise the intensity of training, make training at a higher intensity. As I said, trying to build that kind of running based element into the football based drills. There'll be some running and obviously we'll see some of that today. But as we build into the weeks, we're trying to get everything within within our football-based sessions, ultimately we're working with footballers, so can we get that high-speed running, that sprint element, that axel, decel, change of direction, everything within a football-based drill? So I will now go, I'll do the pre now, yeah? So yeah, I'm going to be in in a sec, you're all good. Lads will be in about quarter past ten. Quarter past, yeah, so meeting at ten, they should be with us for quarter past. So, yeah, so essentially with the boys, it's, it's, you know, some of the lads we've, these guys have known for a number of years and I've known since I arrived in, in February in terms of their super strengths, what, what they bring to the group from a physical perspective. So getting to know them and their physical capabilities, but also getting to know them as people, I think that's so, so important. You know, understanding, you know, what their traits are, what they like, what they dislike, but, and also, you know, when we can push them, when we can pull them. Yeah, perfect. Um, so in terms of understanding them, yeah, as I said, when we can push them, whether when we can, you know, pull back a little bit, knowing, knowing what works with their bodies. That you know, I was speaking to the boys yesterday. Ultimately, they know their bodies better than we ever will. So it's it's building a relationship with a player so that they're comfortable sharing the nuances of you know, on certain days I feel like this, on certain days I feel like that, but also. Those younger players may not know that. So, our, you know, our 18, 19 year old first year pros, it'll be okay, well, educating them. Well, no, we need to push you hard. We need to experience some soreness, some muscle soreness. You know, it's not an injury. It's just preparing them to understand what it takes to be a professional athlete. And then we've got athletes maybe at the, the twilight, at the back end of their careers, where they've been doing this for a lot longer than maybe I've been coaching. So, it's talking to them about their bodies, what, what works for them, what doesn't work for them. And then it's, it's a collaboration. It's not a dictatorship. It's, it's just working together ultimately to win. We spoke to the players yesterday. How we get to that end goal isn't, isn't the, the important thing. It's ultimately the result and the outcome. We're all in the business of winning. So it's this is a, is a means to Norwich at home at 12.30, first game of the season. And then obviously the 45 games in the league that, that follow that. So it's what we're doing here is what's hopefully going to help us get there. But that is the most important thing. So as I said, it's very collaborative in how we're going to do that. Morning, Mark. Hello, how are you? Very good, how are you doing? Oh, yeah. Hello, Jeff. Uh, 76. How's your body? It's a bit sore, my hands and the lower back parts. Do a little bit of my Yeah, so on the TV here. So you can not Yeah, just, just Go body weight, just to get yourself moving. Okay. But you, 10 minutes your own time, get loose, get limber. Like yeah, yeah, on here. And then just go through the stuff that's on the board to hopefully help us prep when we get outside. I'm gonna do some work with the keepers, but you guys kind of, Dwayne over 11 o'clock, you 45 minutes, you've got loads of time. How was this? Yeah, good. So this, this will really help you in terms of your prep today as well. So, work, so 10 minutes your own time, and then work through what's on the board. You can see, for you, I think you probably need to load those goblet squats. Yeah, before you go out. Yeah, before you go out. Yeah. We've started doing that anyway, haven't we? So, spend a bit of time going through each stage. Yeah. Do what you need to do, mobility-wise, on the bike, and then work through this. And then you should be good, good to go. You haven't got a rush, got loads of time. I've been in there for a uh, hip release and stuff this morning. Okay, you feel all right after yesterday? Yeah. So we're gonna, you've seen the session, obviously, a lot of football, a lot of technical, and then when we do the runs, what we really want you to think about today, you know when we're doing that weave? What, is it the kind of thing we were doing? Yeah, the, yeah, but there's one less rep running and five reps. What you think about is, partic is really think about when you're pushing off, to see how that feels, just give it, I know you felt, re you felt really good doing it, so just, I'll check in with you and be like, how's it feeling, what are you thinking? 
yourself away. Morning. I am. Um, like yeah, I had a quick one for you. Vegetarian. Do you eat fish? It's fine. I spoke to our. Uh, in Spain today. I, I've, I've contacted the hotel because I'm like very conscious that it was meat or fish. So if we're after the session, if I just grab you and you like what kind of things you like from a vegetarian perspective, and we'll get them to sort it out. Chefs here are easy. And I, have you met Millie today? Yeah, so, Millie, yeah, so our, that's our nutritionist. So she's going to adapt the menus because obviously we had no pescatarian, no vegetarian last year. No, no one. It was the easiest gig ever. ever. But, so she's going to work with you mainly cause, to make more of a bespoke menu. No, 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 no. Eggs and cheese. Okay. Do what you need to do, and then and then work through this. Did, did Easy, send it over. I send, I send it over to you now. So it's this one here. So what you're going to do? So do what you need to do. Four-way lunge, short and long lever hammy bridge, scat push up, banner no money, and then the last two are where we're going to be more explosive. So scat push up, really nice, really easy. So you want to come over? So you're going to come in here to so start off on all fours and what we're trying to work on is the rotator cuff so the muscle in around the shoulder blade to so start off we're just going to be really simple in here we can add in a little bit of a thread if we want so we're going to be really explosive and press start light work your way up but what we really want to see is that drive <laughs> I hope so. I don't think. I don't it's up, a lot of it's mental, isn't it? Like, yeah. it's that mental. Can I? Can I go? I'm going to go for four minutes. I'm going to give it everything. But four weeks of work, we'll do it when we're fresh. I'd like to think we'll get there. All right. So today, did you do? A, you didn't do a session with me last week, did you? No. So you do. A, you did a longer one with Dwayne, yeah. So this one is two minutes on, 90 seconds off, and it's got some volume, some longer runs, and then some change of direction. So what we found was, I did it with Jordan Thornley, very similar. He was great on the longer stuff. As soon as I asked him to axel d cell, he was like, wow, it's so much harder. What's so the timing, what was on and what was off? Two minutes on, 90 seconds off, five reps, done. But in two groups, so one group's gonna be possession, one group's gonna run, and then we're gonna swap. So 80% of the session is football with just a little bolt on the condition. And that's what we're going to try and do. As much football as... I looked this morning, 29 degrees. Yeah. And even at eight o'clock at night, it was 26 degrees. So everyone's buying in. Nice roofs. Load that hammy and drive. Good. Slowly come down. And then long lever. Same. Thrust up. Slowly come down. Thrust up. Slowly come down. For you, I always want you to do less volume to the rest of the boys. So on here, where it says six short, six long, just do three short, three long, just to get your body used to it. Nice PK. So it's there, uh, there. So to cheat, you can do this. So try to tuck your elbows and just pull through. Head tall, brace through your trunk and your glutes, you really good alignment for your spine. Yeah. And then we're here. There you go, give that a go. So step to press, here, just lose that. So we're here, step, come through, step, make that really explosive, step, come through. So a couple of med balls, if you want to go a lighter one, obviously grab one from indoors. You feel all right? You look good? You're good? Because that's what, pre-season? Yeah, we'll do that, we are going to do that once more in a few weeks, but like today, Two minutes. Yeah. So you got warm up with shorts, passing drill as a group, then you're going to split into two groups, small possessions, 
and then about 20 minutes of running with me, two minutes on, 90 seconds off. Is that a straight line? No. No, 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 so it's like a, you'll see it, it's got some Axel D cell in it, a bit more specific than just running in a straight line, as, a, as in a group of 10, and then we'll um, swap, and then finish with possession. If you go in one group, Will Volk's in another group to like lead the groups. He'll be a leader in a group as well, I feel. Yeah, pace setter. How long is it? It's two minutes on, 90 seconds off, times five. Done. So gents, just listen in, I'll explain the drill, really simple. So it's a, a modified M run. We've got some change of direction in and around the middle. So we're gonna have a group start on this cone here, or pole here, group start in the far side. All you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to this pole in here, tight weave, out to the far cone, out across, back in, tight weave and down. You're gonna work for two minutes. You have 90 seconds off. You're gonna do five reps. Five in the top corner, or half you in the top corner with Sam. Other, other group is this corner with Will. Just make sure we know what we're doing. You're going to be working for two minutes. Let's go. And then tight in this little weave, so tight through. There you go, nice and tight, nice and tight, nice and tight. Nice, good start, gents. Yeah, and then open yourselves out. Can we push a little bit on this corner? Just open yourself up just a little bit. And then sure you'll direct you round. Nice start, lads, really good. Really good, boys, really good. Almost a minute in. Really good pacing. Try and stay tall in that posture, long in your stride. It's a minute down. Really good start, boys, really good. How was it? Good? Longy, how'd you find it? Good, good? Yeah. We're gonna split, yeah, we'll split it out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get, yeah. Cause you, you wanna run your race, which is fine. How'd you find it in terms of the, the drill? How many? Five. Four more. Four more, yeah, four more. Let's go! Really nice start again. Really good on those tight turns. And then open yourselves up, really nice lad. Really good, almost a minute in. Try and stay tall with it, it's a minute down. Love it. One thirty, thirty to do. Top draw, gents, top draw. What do you, what do you reckon, Benno? What, what are you going for? This first. This first here, get it done, yeah? Most definitely. Yeah. Two left, yeah? Feeling all right? Yeah. Look, everyone looks really good. I'm really impressed. It's been nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's been good. Very good. It's a good bar for the second group, anyway. Same way, yeah? Same way, yeah. Same way, yeah. All right, mate, really good. Nice top draw. All right, mate, really good.
Hit him. Top draw. Top effort, lads. Well done. Take a minute. Get your breath. Will. Well, mate. Really good.